welcome back to my channel so today for you guys I have a Valentine's Day DIY video I know it's early but let me tell you this I keep repeating this in like all of my videos I feel like since of this pandemic has happened people are bored at home and they're decorating for everything and everything keeps selling out very quickly I went to Michael's Hobby Lobby and Joanne Fabrics after Christmas to try to see like what's you know on sale and there was nothing and I remember going last year and there was still a bunch of things left that I ended up purchasing but this time around there's nothing so I wanted to start my Valentine's Day DIYs early so just in case you're interested in doing anything I do you'll be able to find the items that you need to recreate some of these things before it flies off the shelf for my Valentine's Day decor this year I really want to do a sweets theme I've always wanted to do a sweet type of Christmas tree never done it before and with Cooper especially good probably walking around next year not really knowing what's going on I'm afraid he's gonna try to eat my tree so I was like let me do it for Valentine's Day instead do a sweets theme you know Valentine's Day sugar candy all that good stuff I first showed you guys how to make fake whipped cream last year during Christmas time 2019 and when I did that video there wasn't anybody really doing it in the Dollar Tree community and after that everybody's doing it now especially this time around so I was like what can I do that's different um, that'll stand out a little bit more so I decided to do fake ice cream and it is so easy to do it is so cute to do I'm also going to show you fake whipped cream again but a different way to do it um, than the other way I've been doing it so I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know your favorite DIY down in the comments below mine's is the fake ice cream you're going to see it right in the beginning um, and if you want to make these look a little bit more Valentine's Day like just add hearts honestly add hearts to anything that I show you guys in this video so again let me know your favorite down in the comments below if you like the video make sure you give it a thumbs up and um, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not and click the bell button so you're notified every single time that I upload before I uh, begin the video this is going to be my last DIY for 2020 thank you so much you guys for watching all of my DIYs for sticking around with me I might upload one more video before the end of the year but just in case I don't know that I appreciate you guys thank you so much for watching and sticking around all these years um, anyhow with that being said let's begin the video we're going to start off by making some ice cream. What you're going to get from Dollar Tree is some lightweight spackle. And I actually tried to use a different spackle that I got from Home Depot and I prefer the Dollar Tree one. You also need a container to stir the spackle in and I just recommend getting something that isn't a container that you use to put actual food inside of. Just get something that you could use for crafting. So I ended up getting a pack of two Betty Crocker storage containers it was two for a dollar now go ahead and put your spackle inside of the container now I ended up using three containers of spackle to make two different ice creams and I was able to get seven scoops of ice cream out of those two containers using what I considered a normal size ice cream scooper it's actually a little bit on the bigger side than it is on the smaller side but I think I think it's normal sized <laughs> So what I'm doing is I went ahead, distributed the spackle. I put a little bit more on what's supposed to be my strawberry spackle. To change the color of the spackle, I'm going to be using paint. I'm using light pink for the strawberry ice cream. And you want to put a little bit of paint at a time, then stir it in. And then if you think you need a little bit more paint, add a little bit more paint. And the reason why you want to do a little bit at a time is because you don't want the spackle to get too watery. If it gets too watery, it thins out too much. It's going to be really hard to scoop the ice cream out and get the texture that you want and need. If it's too watery and you scoop it out and then you try to plop it into your cup or bowl, whatever it is, it's just going to look like a blob of speckle. So you want this like creamy consistency to it but make sure that it's a little bit more like the texture of the spackle when you poured it inside of your bowl versus like it being super liquidy. I ended up trying to practice making the ice cream before I recorded the video and I used a different spackle from Home Depot. It was dry dex, dap dry dex spackle and it was too soft for this so I really recommend getting the Dollar Tree stuff. It just worked way better for me and it gave me more so the look of what I needed but I think that's because the Dollar Tree spackle is a little bit more dry versus the other one that was super soft already so then when I try to mix in paint with that it just made it too soft and it just wouldn't hold. So maybe if you get something else from Home Depot you got to let it set a little and dry up a little and then mix in your paint. For the vanilla flavor, I used Apple Barrel Paint in Antique Parchment. 
The nice thing about getting little like storage containers, food containers from Dollar Tree, they come with lids. So if you don't want to use the ice cream right away, you could wait a few days by just keeping it fresh. Okay, from Dollar Tree, you want to pick up some glasses, bowls, whatever you want. I got different options. I really like this glass. So I'm just taking my ice cream scooper, sticking it inside of the spackle, and basically treating this like a it were real ice cream I did use a little spoon and I also got that from Dollar Tree in a four pack to kind of smooth out the ice cream at the bottom before I scooped it into my cup and you can see it looks like vanilla ice cream it is so freaking cute I am a big fan of fake food when I was younger I always used to get like toy food for Christmas and I still have some of it because I always thought like if I ever have a kid I'm gonna save some of my toys and I did save some of my toy food we'll see if Cooper ends up liking it who knows? To this glass, I added a bunch of vanilla scoops. And then to the top, I topped it off with some strawberry scoops. And like I said, I was able to do seven scoops total with the spackle, three containers of that spackle. I'm sure I could have maybe got one more scoop, especially if I mixed vanilla and strawberry. But to get like I guess a more comfortable amount what I knew I had it was about seven scoops and I just filled that all inside of this one glass I'm gonna show you guys how to dummy the bottom down in a few so you don't have to use as many containers of spackle if you don't want to so now I want to make some hot fudge I'm using Mod Podge and Apple Barrel paint and melted chocolate now I'm going to be mixing the two together and the reason for the Mod Podge oh I forgot to mention it needs to be gloss Mod Podge is to give the paint that glossy look and that glossy look that will hold the thing is I don't know the perfect ratio for this thing you guys at first I did a little bit more Mod Podge than I did paint and when I ended up spreading this on top of my ice cream it just was coming out too thick I wanted like a thinner liquidy line of hot fudge but it just came out too thick like I said so then I ended up trying to mix more paint in and then at that point it was taking away from the glossy look of the Mod Podge so guess what I don't know the perfect ratio for this so you just want to play around with it until you get something you like what I'm thinking could work is you pour the paint on top of the ice cream and then later on go over it with a paintbrush and some Mod Podge to give the paint the glossy look maybe that could work out either way it still look nice it's just I didn't know the perfect ratio for this Next up, I'm going to be taking some artificial cherries that I purchased from Amazon. Sometimes convenience for me is way better than me trying to make something and I did not want to make a bunch of cherries using clay and I knew I wasn't going to get the same look and I would have had to buy something else to make them get glossy. So no, I got them like 20 for $5.99. It's worth it for me to not have to make a bunch of cherries and it's probably cheaper for me to just buy them than me having to make all of these. Anyways, this is how this particular ice cream came out. This one was my favorite actually of them all. I think it's so cute. But now I'm going to show you how to make some shakes and to dummy the bottom of your glasses up so again you want to get some glasses from Dollar Tree these are the ones that I found that kind of look like the shake glasses I couldn't find any that didn't have a handle beside this one but they all work totally fine so what you want to do is you want to take your paints again I'm using the light pink paint from Apple Barrel and the antique parchment paint from Apple Barrel and you are going to paint the inside of your glass with the paint so instead of having to do a bunch of scoops at the bottom with the spackle you're painting the bottom so that you don't see that there really isn't scoops at the bottom of your glass you are going to have to do multiple layers of paint especially if you're using the paint that I'm using in my video it kind of looks like it went clear opaque right away but that was not the case once it dried it was see-through so you do have to do a couple of layers to get that opaque look now it's time to dummy up the bottom what I'm using to dummy it up are styrofoam balls from Dollar Tree at first I thought the three pack would work better they're a little bit bigger than the four pack but the four pack balls ended up working better you can see the bigger one I try to stick it in there and it just wouldn't go down so I went with the smaller version of the two of those balls and I ended up putting two of them inside of this glass and then I start to add the ice cream so that way I don't have to put as many ice cream scoops inside of the glass because I painted the bottom and you can't see it and then I dummied it up with styrofoam balls 
Now you can see here that my ice cream was falling and it looks way more smooth. That's because I actually filmed this before I filmed the beginning of this video and I was using that spackle I told you guys about that was just a little too creamy and you can see if it is too liquidy um, or too too creamy it's just going to collapse your ice cream balls. So that's why I just recommend going the Dollar Tree route. So because I was doing this and I couldn't undo it, I just kind of made the top look like a soft type of ice cream shake. And then I ended up topping it off with some vanilla ice cream and it was made with the spackle from Dollar Tree. I had issue with this glass too. I had put the strawberry stuff in there with the other spackle and then it just was too runny. So I smoothed it out, made it look a little bit more like a melted shake and then I topped it off with the Dollar Tree spackle and it's just way way better. I mean like I said if you end up getting some spackle from a different place and it's too soft I think the key is just to let it harden a little bit and then use your paint to soften it up just enough versus taking it straight out of the, the container and then trying to mix your paint in because it doesn't work that way. If you dummy the bottom of your glasses by painting them and then adding something else to fill the bottom, it doesn't have to be styrofoam balls, but if you put something else at the bottom, you will have a lot more scoops of spackle left over for different glasses. So I did this vanilla one, I did some other ones off camera, then I decided to do some chocolate uh, ice creams, so I just used apple barrel paint and milk chocolate to get the color that I wanted. Uh, I'm sorry you can hear Cooper in the background, but that is what it is. He is just making noises right now. I want to decorate some of my shakes. From Dollar Tree you can pick up their cake decorating kit. It comes with a piping bag and then different little cake frosting tips. And what you'll do is you will put your spackle inside of that piping bag. Now I have different piping bags and I'm going to be using those instead. Just because, okay, I'm weird, I don't like the texture, the way that it actually feels, the one from Dollar Tree, like it gives me the heebie-jeebies, so I'm just using these instead. I got them for $2.48 for a 15 pack at Walmart. I cut the tip of the bag off and then I push my cake decorating tip through that piping bag and um, if you're using the Dollar Tree one you just kind of twist it onto the thing that's at the front of it anyways you go ahead and you put your spackle in the bag this spackle I just mixed a little bit of white into it because I wanted it to look a little bit more white the Dollar Tree one is white but it's not like the kind of white I wanted for my whipped cream so then I just go ahead and I put that on the top of my shake the tip I'm using according to Google is a closed star tip so that's the shape of it there's different ones um i think that's the one that i'm using but that i'm going off of google so don't yell at me if i got the you know name of the tip wrong anyways now i'm going to be just taking some straws that i got from dollar tree i'm going to cut one down and then i'm going to put it going through that soft spackle because at this point the rest of the ice cream and everything already hardened so i put it through the spackle i did the exact same thing to this shake i added some whipped cream a cherry and then a straw. Nothing too fancy on these. To the next shake I'm doing, I ended up using a piece of styrofoam that I cut in half and placing that before I put any of my whipped cream just so I had something to dummy it. To decorate this shake, I will be using sprinkles. Now here's the thing, if you use real sprinkles, like edible ones like I did, they are gonna bleed into the spackle, which means the dye from the sprinkle is gonna spread throughout the spackle. So like this started to turn pink once it, once it started to dry up. And I did that because it's easier for me to do and it's too time consuming for me to try to make sprinkles out of clay. If you wanna learn how I did that, make them out of clay, I'll link it down below for you guys. I've done it before, but it's just too time consuming the other way around, so I used real sprinkles. To all my glasses, I decided to add the little cute smiley faces that I purchased from Etsy. I showed you guys before in a tutorial. I'll link it down below for you guys. I think I paid, uh, I can't remember offhand now, I think it was $2.50 on sale for them. Full price is like 4 bucks, And I used my Cricut to cut it out. You do not need a Cricut. You can print it out on a regular piece of paper, cut it out with a scissor, and then glue it onto your glasses. But I went ahead and I did that to all my glasses, and they just look so freaking cute i wanted a version of what i did for christmas for valentine's day and i just love the way they all came out now here's another idea to do the shakes get a candle from dollar tree i was able to find these ones that look like glasses of milk you can get just the regular pillar candles that are inside of the glass and all you have to do is take your spackle 
do that whole whipped cream look at the top of it add your straw sprinkles if you want to and it ends up looking like a shake too it looks so freaking cute and this one's easy to do if you want to do just like a regular vanilla look to it and you don't want to have to sit there painting the inside of your glass or dumbing it this only will cost you like two bucks to do if you're just buying the candle and then just adding the spackle but if you're going to do a straw sprinkles it'll cost you a couple more bucks but it's still inexpensive and you don't have to sit there painting the inside of your glass you can also do different colors just by buying Buying different color candles next up we're gonna be making some fake whipped cream toppers you've seen me do this before on my channel but I've used caulk in the past not spackle and I avoided using spackle before just because I thought it was gonna be easier to use caulk and so I just did it that way it's so easy to use spackle and the look looks more like fake whipped cream so I recommend using spackle so I took my spackle I mixed a little bit of that light pink paint because I wanted a very light pink look to my whipped cream now I took a styrofoam ball I cut in half I put that down on a little plastic then plate. I start to put down the fake whipped cream which is just the spackle you want to dummy the center of this so that you're not just using spackle and it starts to collapse on itself when I first ever did my a fake whipped cream I didn't dummy anything and I just used the caulk and it just started to collapse in so you want to make sure you just have something so that it doesn't collapse in and on top of that it dries more quickly which is nice so I was left with this very very pretty light pink color I went ahead and I added my sprinkles and because I did pink when the um, sprinkles bleed into this it's not very noticeable it kind of just looks like more sprinkles next up I got these tiny little cake topper picks cupcake picks from Michaels they're just little like fake roses I went ahead and I cut the toothpick off of them and I put that inside of my fake whipped cream Dollar Tree didn't have anything that I could use for this they do have flowers but they're not this tiny so I ended up just going to Michaels and I paid around two dollars for them using a coupon once I had the roses in place I ended up adding some little heart confetti to this and I put them in one by one I didn't want to like throw it on top of there I wanted the, them to be placed in like the perfect spots so I went ahead and just added them with my hand this way I really love the way that this one came out then I decided to make another one and this one was going to be white so I just used white caulk went ahead put my styrofoam piece down and then I go ahead pipe out the spackle and to this one, I added the conversation hearts and I got them from Dollar Tree. Again, I'm using something that you could actually eat. If you don't want to do this, like I said, you can make all this stuff out of clay. It's just more time consuming and like I don't have time to make things out of clay and then wait for them to dry and all of that. So I just did it the easy way and I used the conversation hearts. These don't bleed as bad because I think it's because they're just bigger. So if they are bleeding, they're bleeding behind it and you can't see it. I wanted to share with you guys this one that I made. This one ended up being my favorite. So I took my spackle, did my little fake whipped cream, added the cherry, and then I got this fake piece of chocolate from Dollar Tree. It's in the kids section with the kids toys. It comes with a bunch of other fake desserts. And I go ahead and I cut it in an angle and stick that inside of my whipped cream. Then I decided to add my fake hot fudge I started to pour it on at first, but it ended up getting all over my cherry. So I had to remove the cherry and then continue pouring on the fake hot fudge. Once I was done, I put the cherry back on and this is how this one came out. And this one ended up being my favorite. I think it's so cute. So that's how you do the fake whipped cream toppers using spackle. And I prefer to do it this way versus the caulk way I've been doing it. I really like the way that it looks and it's so fun to do you guys it's like using real frosting even though you're not at all now we're gonna make ice creams with ice cream cones so from Dollar Tree you want to pick up some of their fake food in the kids section and there are little fake ice creams in there and fake cones we're gonna be using the little cones and all you do is you take your spackle and you pipe it through the fake cone and then just kind of create a soft serve look to the ice cream it's really really easy to do and you can make a bunch of tiny little one of these that are perfect for tear trays or just little fillers to decorate different areas of your home I decided to just do 
the ice cream with nothing topping when it off. When I was done piping an ice cream, I realized that the tops weren't ever coming out the way that I wanted them to look. So I just used my hands to get a finer point. I was just using the fingers to make that point. It's really, really easy to do. Spackle, you can kind of manipulate easy with your fingers. In those toy dessert packs, there are fake cones but two different ones there's like the wafer kind and then the sugar kind so this is kind of like the sugar cone and so i used these two but these have like a point at the bottom so they're hard to just stand up straight while you're waiting for the spackle to dry so i just use something to create a hole and um, keep the cone straight up as i piped out the spackle and waited for it to dry and what i used was just like a it was just like a cupcake cup or something i don't know what it's called I got it from Dollar Tree. It came in a 12 pack. Along with these, I wanted to make some mini one scoop sundaes. So you just want to get one of those cups from Dollar Tree. Like I said, it's just like little ice cream cups, little tiny cups. Don't know what they're called. Honestly, it just says like container cups on the packaging. And you just want to add a scoop of ice cream and then you could top it off with whipped cream cherry hot fudge whatever you want you can just do one scoop of ice cream but it's another little way to make the ice cream and they're perfect like i said for like tear trays and filling up spaces that you need to within your home now you have miniature ice cream cones and miniature one scoop sundaes that you can use like i said for tear trays that's what i'm going to be using mines for now we are going to be making some cupcakes. I really wanted to make some cupcakes because I bought some fake ones and I was like, oh, I want to try making them using Dollar Tree products. So from Dollar Tree, you want to pick up some cupcake liners. So they're just like the baking cups. The only ones I could find at Dollar Tree are pastel ones. So I'm going to end up using the pink ones. And then in those toy packs with all the fake toy food, there are donuts inside of there. And it's two donuts that come in a pack. So if you want multiple cupcakes, you got to buy multiple packs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the donut over so that the back of it is showing. So what I do is I put some spackle down at the bottom of the cupcake liner and then I add the donut. And I just needed the donut to have something to stick on and also add a little bit more height to it. And then I just add some of the fake whipped cream to the top of the donut and then I topped it off with sprinkles. I will say I used multiple cupcake liners for one cupcake just because the cupcake liners are very thin and they could be see-through. So I used a few for each cupcake that I made. You don't have to flip the donut over if you don't want to. If you want like that fake hot fudge to be showing or that va fake vanilla look to be showing, you can do that. But I was just trying to mimic what I had seen with the ones that I had bought. These were inexpensive to do too. This cost me $3 to make two of them with and then if you add the sprinkles, it's hard to say like how much because the sprinkles I paid $5 for that big old thing and I have so much left over. But Dollar Tree does carry sprinkles. The sprinkles they carry though are super super colorful and that's why I didn't go with the Dollar Tree ones because they were colorful and if I would have sat there picking out the colors I want it takes so long. Trust me I've done that before. I've done that in a video before. It takes a long time so it's easier for me just to buy them. And then I have so much left over. And there you go. Now we have some cupcakes to add to all of the cute decor that I'm making. I want to make more of them. And I want to put like an ornament thing through them. Because I'm thinking of doing a Valentine's Day tree this year. And it's really hard to find any of those really cute ornaments right now. Next up we're just making miniature dishes and cups for some tear trays. I did something similar before during Christmas time. So you're going to get one of these tea sets from Dollar Tree. And if you want, you can go ahead and paint the pit plates and the cups. I did. I went ahead and used my light pink paint to paint the cups and the plates. I just like the way that it looks better than that like purple color and that hot pink color. After I've done this, I'm just going to top them off using some miniatures that I purchased from Dollar Tree. I found these really cute macaroon ones and then I found some cupcake ones. All I do is I just place them on top of the plates. You can glue them if you want to, but I didn't because I want to be able to switch them around if I want to. I also found little sundaes. I put that on top of one of the plates. And then to the little cups that come with this tea set, I go ahead and put some spackle through them. So I'm doing little whipped cream looks to these cups and I did this during Christmas time I made them and I put little faces on them but this time around I'm not going to do the faces I'm just adding the whipped cream little straw and then some of the heart confetti I said that very weird but these are cute too to put inside of tear trays like I said that's what I did during Christmas time with the ones I made I have them on a tear tray and they're just sitting there it's so cute 
Next up, we're making cookies. From Dollar Tree, I picked up this air dry clay, and what I did is I took the clay and I was just like smushing it around using my hands to flatten it out. And then I take a cookie cutter. I got some heart shaped cookie cutters, and I just started using the cookie cutters to cut out the clay. I was able to make two large cookies and then three smaller cookies with the clay and even the small ones are not like super tiny or anything it's just what i was able to make using the cookie cutters that i have then you want to take some water and you just want to smooth out at least the top of your cookies it doesn't have to be perfect because honestly cookies you know when you make them it's not like they have perfect smooth texture to them but you just want to smooth it out a little bit then i took a toothpick and i just use my toothpick to write things in the clay with so I just put like kiss love hugs put whatever you want the letters did not look perfect when I used a toothpick but again like I said it's cookies then I went ahead and I took my spackle and I just created frosting around the edges of the cookies I used a smaller little um frosting tip I got it for 99 cents at Michael's and it was just a smaller one and I just went ahead and piped out all of the spackle around my cookies it looks so cute I was trying different ways to do it at first but then I found the way that I enjoyed doing it the most and I just ended up doing that to all of the cookies finally I took some white paint and I just paint the inside of the letters that I kind of made with a little toothpick you can go ahead and paint your cookies if you want to and I want to do another version of these where I make them actually look like the conversation hearts but I actually wanted to just keep them this color for this video because I actually thought it looked cute it kind of reminded me of like gingerbread heart shaped cookies um but whatever you could do whatever the heck you want for our next DIY, you want a wooden crate from Dollar Tree and you want the one where there are no gaps between it because there's another one that they carry where each little piece of wood has a gap through it. You don't want that one. So what you're going to do is you're going to paint the sides and the bottom of your crate with whatever paint you like. I'm using that light pink paint I've used throughout this entire video. And I just paint the entire crate, wait for the paint to dry. Then I take my spackle and I start to create what looks like ribbon. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like those farmhouse books, but instead I'm doing a sweet thing to them and I'm using the spackle to be the ribbon that people usually use to wrap the books. So I take it, pipe it all out. I create a bow using that spackle at the top too. Then you, I just wait for the spackle to completely dry and then I just add my words. You can use like a white paint to do this, a white paint pen. You can use your Cricut, whatever you like. It's up to you. So I just put hugs, kisses, love, and you can see it just looks like the little farmhouse books, but it's super cute and it has the little whipped cream look to it. And I keep saying cute in this video but like literally all of this stuff is so cute how can you not love this how can you not think it's cute <laughs> anyways next diy i got another wooden crate from dollar tree this time it's the flatter ones that look more like a tray and i painted the entire thing pink yet again that is just what i'm going with pink pink and more pink this is gonna be like a little like cupboard or sweet shop whatever you want to call it um and i'm going to be using the tray to be the little shopper cupboard so i'm gonna need candy for this and again you can make it out of clay if you want to dollar tree carries clay it's not really the best and it's just time consuming to do so instead i went to amazon and i purchased all of these tiny little charms you can use them for different things people put them on their phones and they put them on their shoes i'm going to be using them for something else but you can see i paid 12 dollars for all of these and this is how many came there's different things there's like lollipops little like sugar sticks uh there's different shapes of lollipops there's like hard candies it's super super cute inexpensive and it comes with a bunch of them i definitely think i got my money's worth doing it this way and it's just not as time consuming and I don't need the patience for it. I just have to buy it versus like if I make it with the clay, I need a lot of patience. So now I'm taking these storage containers from Dollar Tree. There's six in a pack and I'm just going to be putting some of the sweets inside of there. So my thing came with some gummy bears. I filled it up with some gummy bears. Um, the lollipops, the bigger ones, I stuck inside of these storage containers. The lids to the storage containers have these little tabs and I 
ended up cutting them off because I didn't really like the way that they looked. So inside of those storage containers, I tried to put some of the bigger items that I have that wouldn't fit inside of these other little glasses that you'll see me use in a second. They wouldn't fit inside of there, so I stuck them inside of the storage containers. When putting in some of the lollipops, I had to cut down the little lollipop sticks. Um, some of the containers I could only fit one lollipop inside of, some I could fit two. You just want to mess around with it, find out what works for you, find out what you like. And I realized that putting one lollipop inside of some of the containers was kind of a good idea because then I had like multiple containers with multiple lollipops versus just like two with two lollipops inside of each one. I ended up using these glass containers from Dollar Tree. They're the four pack ones, so they're the bigger ones that you can get because there's a four pack, a six pack, and an eight pack. To the bigger ones, I added the little like sugar sticks, lollipop sticks. I don't really know what they're called, <laughs> but I put those inside of the bigger containers, the bigger glass containers. If you go into Amazon or Etsy, you're gonna find a bunch of mini little candies and you will go down this rabbit hole of mini candies and you'll want to buy them all. So I ended up getting some more little gummy bears, but these gummy bears have uh, little hooks at the top of them and you can twist them off if you want to. I got those from Amazon as well. I'll try to remember everybody I bought from from Amazon down in the description box below. If I remember, sometimes I don't remember because as soon as I'm done editing and saving the video, I put it to upload and I leave because I have to go take care of Cooper because Matt takes care of him while I edit and film and then I have to take care of him as soon as I'm done so Matt can get his work done. Anyways, I also bought sprinkles. These came in like a 12 pack of different sprinkles and I put these inside of the smallest containers that you can buy from Dollar Tree. It's like an eight pack and they're very very small and let me tell you they're glass because I ended up dropping one and it broke. So then I just stick everything inside of my little crate and you can see it's just like a little sweet shop. It's super cute. It goes along with everything so nicely. That is it for all these Valentine's Day sweets and I'm saying Valentine's Day again because that is going to be the theme of my Valentine's Day decor. It's just going to be like a little sweet shop and all these things remind me of Valentine's Day. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know your favorite DIY down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.